Good day, gentlemen. Today I will be showing you how to make a power charge. This was a sm simple request from a friend, and um, it's simple to do. This should be a quick video unless I start talking like nonstop. Anyways, first you need your animation, power charge animation. This is what I have for Kung Fu Man. This is what I'm going to use. So he's going to do that. So he's going to get into his ready, and then he's going to, the last two frames are going to loop. So he's like, nah, 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 nah. And then the power charge finished, which is him going back to that. So it kind of plays off like this, totally. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Except it's more like, yeah, 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 So first you have your animation, good. Then you get your um, your command for it. What I'm going to use is um, command B plus Y, which is the two middle buttons. Uh, medium punch, medium kick. You push those two. And it's gonna react to this negative one state here, which it changes to 1600. When you push uh, B and Y together, if the player has control and the player is not in the air, it's gonna change to that. It's going over to this. This is 1600, the power charge state. Um, it's standing, it's not really an attack, so you can put I for idle. Um, and it has no physics, or you can put S because he's just standing there for stand physics. Uh, he's not moving so his velocity is zero. His animation is going to be 1600 which is the power charge startup and the loop at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then control zero because player has no control. Sprite priority is two because uh, they just because. So first let's see how this works in Mugen. I did not log off Skype. We just realized that. And then it's Okay so let's see this is Okay, see, this is B and C, uh, B and Y. He goes into it, but he just kind of just stops. And the reason why is because of my change state. So he's gonna change to animation zero. Well, not really that even. Um. All right. So first, let's make him gain power. We're gonna use a power add code, which is right here at the side. Power add. The trigger for this is gonna be time mod percentages mod 2 equals 1 so every 2 seconds or 2 ticks in the game and the game is 60 ticks per second so that's like, it's super fast so every 2 ticks he's gonna gain um, 10 in his power gauge and uh, let's change this so uh, when you press uh, B and Y he's gonna gain power because every 2 ticks he gains 10 to his uh, power gauge. The power gauge is maxed at 3000 by default. You can change that in the uh, data section here. You just add power equals 4000 or 2000 for two gauges. 3000 is the default. Uh, let me find myself here. Um, okay, so that's all you need to do that. Now, because the animation is going to be looping, what we need is a change animation. Well, yeah, we need a, a change animation, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'll remove, I'll remove animation from there. Change animation, time equals zero. And command equals power charge. So w once this it has entered this state, which is at zero time, and the player is holding um, B, and C, uh, B and Y, they're going to change animation to 1600. And this is not going to be persistent. It's just going to be a one-time thing. And when the player is, is command equals not equal, which means the player is not um, pressing com uh, power charge, it's going to change animation to 60, uh, one, six, 1601. And then it's going to have a change state back to animation time equals 0. Change the value to 1 controls 1. Okay, so when you more or less hold power charge, he'll gain power. When you let go, he'll stop gaining. So let's see, B and Y. Okay, see he gains, but then his animation just puts him back to the thing. So, can't use this, obviously. Um, oh, you know what? In the command file, they're actually... I, I did this wrong up here. If you scroll up on the top of your command file in Kung Fu Man, it tells you um, the little things you should know here, like this. Slash 
means the key must be held down. Example, command equals slash D. Hold the down direction. Sl uh, slash DB plus uh, DBA. Hold down back while pressing A. So that's what I need to do instead of what I have there. So uh, instead of that, it's going to be slash B, Y. So let's try it. Now he should gain power constantly. So, so yeah, you see he's doing it, but his animation is looping. Eh, it's kind of okay. It's ugly as sin, but it's kind of okay. But see, his power level is going up here. And even though he's maxed at 3,000, he's still able to freak out like that. So we need to limit that so he doesn't just do that anytime he wants to and gain more power than you should. Even though you cannot, you're still limited to whatever your power is, which is default 3,000. You can still do the charge attack, the, the charge um, power charge, even though you're not really gaining anything. So you would have to add to your negative 1, trigger all equals, uh, what's it, power max is um, equal to 3, uh, is less than 3,000. So if if power max is less than three thousand, you can do the power charge. And power is not equal to three thousand. Uh, I think this will uh, work on limiting him. Let's see if it works. Well, he just like stopped. No, no. Huh. Okay. So that did not work. Maybe it's that code. Let's try this again. It's strange how that's not working now. Power max. Oh, 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 oh. Power less than power max. This is it's a strange code there, but basically it's saying the current power, which is uh, oops. Yeah. Okay, the current power by default is zero at the beginning of a match, and the power max is 3,000. So if the power is less than the max, if zero is less than 3,000, then he can do the estate. So because it's less, he can do it. So he's going to keep gaining. Level one, level two, and when he reaches 3,000, he should stop. See, he just suddenly stopped. And I can't do the command anymore until I do a super. Yeah, nye, 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 nye. See? Simple, right? Did I not save this? Huh. Maybe that. Anyways, so now his uh now when you charge up all the way to level three, it just changes him back to animation uh zero uh, state zero. So what you do here to make him play up properly is add another trigger. Trigger 2 equals power max. So when the power is maxed out to the highest gauge levels it can, it's going to change his um his power charge animation to the finished uh, power charge animation. So let's see how that looks. He's still freaking out a little bit there. I wouldn't worry about that too much. So when he reaches 3, he should go back to his normal stance. Yeah, see, he went back himself. He didn't just, like, switch back. So, also, you can change this to, like, ridiculous numbers, like 100. If you want to, um, make it much faster, like this. See? Or you can put something brutal, like 1, which makes power charging a hell of a lot bad. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Inching, inching, inching. Let me see, um... Uh, blah, blah, blah. 10 times time mod 2 equals 1. I don't know what the hell I'm doing there. I just wanted to see what the heck that would do. I'm just making up a code. And look, nothing happens at all because the code makes no sense. Yeah, that couldn't make some sense either. Times times plus ten. Huh, that was interesting. Let me try that again. I'm just gonna push B and Y one time. 
Yeah, it gains a huge amount. Anyway, so yeah, that's more or less all there is to a power charge state. Um, you have your power add code, which is uh, time mod 2, which means every 2 ticks, it's going to add 10 to his power gauge, which is a decent speed to me. You can do whatever you want with this value. Nothing super ridiculous, though. And then you have a, a change animation. Instead of putting an animation here, you're going to have a change animation, and it's going to be your command power charge, which, and your command is to hold um, to hold B and Y together. Here, see? Hold B and Y. So if you're holding B and Y and time equals zero, it's going to change your animation to 160. I mean, 1600, sorry. And 1600 is more or less... Yeah. And I don't know why it's not playing. The, the animation, like, looping. I don't know why. But, um... So it's going to play that when you hold the buttons and time is the beginning of the state. Then when you uh, let go of the buttons, not equals to... Um, power charge means letting go of the button and um, it's gonna blah, blah, blah. if you let go of the buttons it's gonna change him to his um, power charge finish state which is him putting his hand back and trigger 2 is more or less if his power is max at 3000 or whatever value you put it's gonna put him back to the same animation of him putting his hand back so if either one of these is checked it's gonna this is gonna happen and when this animation time is over Right here, it's going to change him back to zero. So you see, more or less, a power charge is as simple as this. I mean, you can make it overly complicated, but this is all you really need. You know, you can add effects with explos or whatever. As for Kung Fu Man's animation not um, playing properly, I don't know what's wrong with that. I, I've always had trouble with the change animation codes and holding down stuff. See, he's like spazzing out. Yeah, there. No. Maybe I don't even need time. Yeah, I don't think I even need time. Persistence zero. This might work. Let's see. This works the same, even though I don't have that trigger time equals zero. So it it looks like it works. I'm not sure why it's. Oh. Hmm. See, it's another animation sticks when I use persistent one. Okay, so that's obviously not it. Uh, oh, you know what? I can probably do. Look, let's put animation equals one six zero zero, and the. Uh, okay, it's gonna play the animation, and. Another change state. Well, no, I don't, even think, I don't even think I needed that one. If I put that there now, that I look at it, I think I just overthought what I was gonna do. No, it's still doing it. I'm not sure why it's looping him like that. It shouldn't be doing that. Huh? Oh, 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 oh! I think this is why. I could be right, I could be wrong, let's find out. If you look here, it says action number 1601. So basically his animation is changing too fast into this. So uh, power equals power max, change to that. Command is not equal to power charge, change to that. Okay. Still doing it. Hmm, I can't figure out why. Let's see. Hmm. You know, I did this on my Dragon Ball Z characters. I'm gonna open one of them up quickly and use them as a reference. Uh, let's try out. Who's my last guy? Um, Piccolo. Okay, Piccolo. The command for Piccolo's charge is. Okay, I don't even have a command in there for him. Instead, what I do? Key blast, special combo, combo. 
4 by charge, okay. So I have it as one button, so if the command is C and the player is not in any attack states, the player is not holding down, which means he's not crouching, and the power is not 3000, and the player is not in the air, more or less if all of these are not going on and you press C and you have control, you're going to go to state 280. State 280 for Piccolo is charge. What does charge have? Charge has a play sound. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, sound. So power add time equals uh, time greater than or equal to zero. Okay. These are more explode, explode, explode. Pa okay, trigger is more explode. Okay. Huh, I'm not really sure how I did this. That's strange. A classic will come for men. You have your animation, your command, and your state. This is all the rest of the state. As for making the animation not loop like that, I, I'm not sure why it's doing that, it, why it's ending so fast. It, it's probably the trigger for this. Yes, this is probably the, the reason why. So let's um, change this to command not equal to power charge. And this one as well. Oh look, that fixed it. <laughs> it's because of my trigger for my change state. Huh, his action number is still zero. It's freaking out a little bit there. But there's no debug uh, flood error or anything. Um, but I guess for the most part it works, right? Okay, yeah, so... When you enter the power charge state... It's, how long am I talking? 16 minutes, holy shit. Okay, so... Enter the power charge state, play your animation, which is like him spazzing out a little bit, or, you know, whatever you want it to be. Then you have your power add code, which adds over every two ticks. It'll add 10 to your gauge. And if you let go of uh, your power charge command, or if your power is max, you're going to play your finishing animation, and then you're going to go to your um, stand uh, state again. Otherwise, you can change this or this to another state. Uh, this, well, this you can change to another state. This you change to another number. But that's that's more or less all there is to it. So uh, thank you for watching. Power, uh, thank you for watching Kung Fu Man spaz out on my Mugen. Like blah, blah, blah. I will not be able to make any more tutorials for a while. I have a lot of cleaning in the house to do. Uh, lots of moving around and stuff. So thanks for watching Heavenly Abyss. Good luck on your character.